Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Vision Classes. Today we'll go through the one of the interesting question from Complex Number. It's a question from March 2021. It's a question Pure Mathematics 3, March 2021 question. So I hope uh, you must uh, be revising your all the math content. Okay. So <clears throat> today just uh, we'll discuss one interesting question from the complex number. Even we have started revision classes for IGCSE, GCSE and IB stu student. We have students across more than five to six countries. So if you want to connect with us, I have left the contact in the description box. You can connect with us for a revision, tuition and notes, stuff like that. Fine. So we'll straight away move on to question number eight. It's a complex number. So here, Question says that complex number u and v are defined by negative u is equal to negative 4 plus 2i and v is equal to 3 plus i. Find the u or v in the form of x plus i where x and y are real number. So basically here you have to take a division and simplification of denominator. Fine. So u or v will be negative 4 plus 2i upon 3 plus i. Okay. So you have to simplify this denominator part. So multiply just a 3 minus i here and 3 minus i means you have to multiply 3 minus i and 3 plus i numerator and denominator. That's it. And you can simplify it further. So at a numerator here, it will be just a multiplication. So it will be negative four times three, right? Then negative, negative, negative four, negative i, it's a four positive four i. Then two i times three, just a six i. Then two i times negative i, it will be negative two i square. I square value of i square is just a negative one i square is equal to negative one. So divided by here, this is three plus i and three minus i. It's a just a three minus three square minus i square. <clears throat> here you can simplify it further like 12 plus 10 i minus or plus two here. Then three plus three square is nine, right? Plus one, okay? 3 square plus, uh, sorry, here 3 square plus 1 is 9 plus 1 is 10, right? So here negative 12 plus 2 means it's a 10, negative 10 plus 10 i over just a 10. You can take, cancel out this 10, 10, 10. So at the end, you will be having u over v will be equal to negative 1 plus just a i. That's it, fine. And this is three mark question. So each and every step you will get marks and for a right answer, you will be having full marks. Fine. So your steps must be correct. Okay. Then nextly express the U or V in the form of R e raised to I theta. So uh, where R and theta are the exact value. So here basically R means what mod of U or V, right? And mod of u means you have to take the square root of uh, just a constant square minus one square and coefficient of i square, right? Coefficient of i square is just a one. one. One square plus one square is just a root of two means r is basically root two, right? Then theta. Theta is nothing but tan inverse of tan inverse of i coefficient. High coefficient is just a one over constant constant is negative one. So here you will get the tan inverse of negative one, right? Negative one and negative, when you will get the negative value, it will be at a theta is equal to 135 degree. Getting it? Uh, basically you have to write down in the form of R e raised to I theta. So which is equal to root two e raised to 135 I, 135 I. This is the right answer. Fine. And for this exact value, you will get again out of out marks. And here, each and every step, you will be having marks. 
Okay, this is again two marks question. <clears throat> Nextly, if you analyze whole paper of A level, actually they, they have distributed for each and every section certain amount of marks and for a complex number, they, they ask question around nine to 11 marks questions. Fine, okay, not more than that. So next question is that in the Argan diagram, O is let's say origin, a, B, C represent the complex number U, comma, V, comma, 2, U plus V, right? State the full, fully geometrical relationship between O, A and B, C. Okay. So basically we have to find out the vectors. Fine. So O, A is nothing but A minus. So A bar just a, okay. So A bar is nothing but just a here U, right? And U is nothing but negative 4 plus 2i. And then BC, BC is equal to C bar minus B bar. And C bar already here, uh, they have put forward. It's a 2U plus V. And B bar is uh, basically V, right? V, V cancel out and you left with just a 2U. And 2U means this is U, right? So here minus, so basically, yes, just uh, you can put in the form of BC is equal to 2U, right? So here BC is equal to U means here OA, right? Two times OA, okay, means any vector or any line which is multiple of other line. What does is mean is that they are, the, the two lines actually are parallel, okay? So here, Basically, OA and BC are parallel. Now, uh, I hope you must have been practicing this question, this type of questions. So, uh, suppose if you want to connect with us for uh, more tips and tricks like this, uh, you can contact with us as we have started revision classes as well. So, you can contact me directly. I have put contact in the description box, fine. And then last question is that prove angle AOB is three pi by four. So it's a basically you have to take the argand of U minus argand of actually AOB, basically argand of U minus argand of V. Okay. Uh, and argand of U minus V means basically here argand of one minus I right so uh, yes this is argand of a o b fine and this is just here theta is equal to tan inverse of again i coefficient is negative one or just one so it will be tan inverse of negative one theta so theta you will get here three pi by four means basically 135 degree okay that's it this is the right answer Fine. I hope you like this video. Just uh, share with your friend and uh, subscribe to our channel as well. Okay. And if you want to connect with us, I have left the contact in the description box. That's it. Bye-bye. Take care.